figure that out, you guys. There's a plane up there. He's so he's so up there. Like the de-icer and stuff. Like it is so cold where planes fly. I, I don't get it. You figure, you know, at minus 50 up there, they'd be dropping out of the sky left and right. I think I've zoomed on this once before, but man, is it pretty today? It's blue skies. Oh, UFO. What is that? I can't I can't use it. Darn it. I can't get there. Right there. You guys, I swear to God, I think it's a UFO right there. It's right there. There's no stream or nothing. And I can't get in. I got too many cars behind me. Oh, please tell me you can see that. He's gone. video I'm not sure you guys I have so much footage of like this and I was surprised that, that uh, a lot of I was thinking about it like God, I wonder if people just want to see me driving down the road zooming on nothing and uh, just after I thought about that someone messaged me and said mark you got to do more driving down the road <laughs> I was like what what is that it's an interesting rock right there what is that? Maybe that white rock huh that, that, that corner always interests me. I'm driving in a snowstorm right now, but I kind of wanted to film some of these. These forests are unbelievable. I've been staring at them for four or five hours. I've been telling a lot of people, especially like in the UK, you guys, look for that forest that's on the highways where you can't park. Like, have someone drop you off and, and go in there. Like, if I could go into that forest, you can see the structures um, in certain, like, it takes years, believe it or not, to locate, like, certain ones. But now, you know, I know we're going 80 miles an hour. I can zoom into, like, a perfect X. It looks so tribal. It's one of the things that I... Go, you know, I can go into a cul-de-sac and film Bigfoot, but I like to push on to I'm zooming here while we're doing that. Um, to, I like to find these tribal places, places that are literally set up like an active camp, let's call it. Like a, it's literally active. You see that bend coming out? This is such a great place in the left, right in there. If you could just get in there, there's no way to park. You'd have to have someone literally pull over and drop you off, and it would have to be in the summer, because right now there's like three feet of snow right there. Watch the side of this road. Tom, watch, I'm gonna, keep talking, I'm gonna, I'm filming this amazing, I, 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 I wanna say this out loud, because I want you to hear it on the video, when, if I, when I put it up, and I'm gonna film this, these, this amazing forest, as you're talking, and as I'm driving, and I'm this way, when you, and then I want you to see it in like a couple days, because it's gonna be that good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I want you, I want you to see what, you know, what, as we're talking here, what I'm filming. I bet you, I bet you, it's Bigfoots. Yeah. <laughs> 
This is a little different. This is a little different. It is a drive-by, but I'm going 85 miles an hour up a, up, up a highway at 12,000 feet. And, and, I, and I, it's the sickest Bigfoot world you've ever seen, and it's right on the side of the road. Yeah. Well, I'll probably, I'm, I'm going 70. I'm going, no, no, it's an open highway. It's four, three, four lanes. It's, I'm, I'm actually going seven, 75. I'm going 70. No, yeah, it's completely dry right here. It's completely dry. Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry. the dome I just found the dome oh my god I got to get dropped off here Tom I, I've got to come here I've been looking at it for five years and it's just the exact dome like the like the Italy place I showed you like the petroglyph domes I call them domes they're, they're piled up boulders on top of a hill yeah yeah they're, they're not they're not supposed to be there Yeah, and it's like 50, it's, and it, it's 50 a Must be a fatality. Absolutely standstill. There's people out of their cars, you guys. I am miserable. I'm so miserable right now. Let's take a zoom. What the heck is that up there? I've always been fascinated with the forest around here. They're, they're, they're so good. It's you know it's that it's that lower elevation look to it. It's not like real green and plush, but what is that? That's secret base. Like, why would you have that? Is that one of those emergency broadcast places? Because look where it is. I don't even know how you get would get there. Anybody know? You guys, I just fasted for 24 hours to see if it would help the tinnitus. It doesn't help. And then I just ate McDonald's. Oh, you make muffins. Let me tell you something. When you haven't eaten in 24 hours, it's about the best, <laughs> it's about the best thing in the world. You can see the side. This has got no snow at all. What is that? Why does it look like there's a face in the middle of that? That's weird, what is that? 
Is it a shadow? I mean, I don't. It's not. It's not a shadow, guys. I don't think. Maybe I'm not seeing that. Like you know, how you can tell is look for other shadows, and I'm not seeing a whole bunch of other shadows. I see a couple. What is that? I'm not suggesting it's anything or trying to make it like it is. I just don't want to know what that is. Why, when I'm zooming, do I always find something weird? That was so random. And then right here. Terry, you got one right right here. I zoomed in right here. It's clear as day. They were right there. I can't remember if it was the winter or the summer, but nevertheless, they were. right there. It's crazy. I don't know what they're doing. That's what I want to know. What are you doing? How do we ever figure that out, you guys? There's a plane up there. He's so, he's so up there. Like the de-icer and stuff. Like, it is so cold where planes fly. I, I don't get it. You figure, you know, at minus 50 up there, they'd be dropping out of the sky left and right. This whole place right here is outstanding. Now, I'm not saying right here, but right, yeah, you just go in there and, and, you, and you walk. As, for the rest of your life, you can go that way to the right. Without exaggerating, you can go as far as you want to the right. Um, let me see if I can get you a structure. Oh, yeah, they're all in there. Here with me, I want to get, I want to see this peak. You can see up there, and I'm saying with a million dollars, look. It's, you can see the wind blowing. That white on top is the wind. Need an SUV? This guy has no idea he's getting a free app. That's how you get it from Denver. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I've never seen this. Maybe he rents them? WW Future. I think I've zoomed on this once before, but man, is it pretty today? It's blue skies. Oh, UFO. What is that? I can't I can't use it. Darn it. I can't get there. Right there. You guys, I swear to God, I think it's a UFO right there. It's right there. There's no stream or nothing. And I can't get in. I got too many cars behind me. Please tell me you can see that. He's gone. I hope that's on the camera. 
you guys, there was a UFO. He went right around that. I'm telling you, I think some of it's on the camera. I zoomed and it blurred. I couldn't do anything because I got cars all around me and I'm fading into the other lanes and stuff. This is such a cold place. You know where this is? I'll tell you, this is Eisenhower Tunnel. So people, you know, like Jerry, you know, people that are like Tammy, people that are down, you know, in uh, Denver area probably know of this. Most people won't. You know why I've realized it? Because it's it, it's pretty cool. Like I pretty much trust anyone that's involved at my level because you, you didn't get here easily. And I, I know that once you walk into a place like that, the chances of you when you're leaving coming back to, to cause havoc would be your slim to none. There's something that happens to you while you're in there, and you would never, no amount of money or fame or anything would ever. you to I saw I just saw a UFO Would, well, I mean there was a clear difference I saw a plane and then I saw a UFO I'm not kidding you guys these UFOs are everywhere and if they're low they usually stay where you can't see them and that one didn't think anyone could see them and anyone else saw that at the corner of their eye they would have just assumed it was a plane it, it was not a plane it was going slow there was no jet stream at all I always forget what this is called. I think it's called Loveland Ski Area. I'm pretty sure it's not. It has nothing to do with Loveland, Colorado. It's really pretty, but man, I don't know why. I think people come come here instead of going to Vail Resorts uh, destinations because of it's much cheaper. And, but it's really cool. Look at that lift going up into that. You know how cold it is up there. Oh man, it's actually warm today. It's 29 degrees today. It's it's it's. There's some kind of warm front. I mean, 29 degrees right here. Watch their structures right here. Watch this. There's a bend. I, I, I saw one one day. Look at the axis, you guys. I saw one one day. Right there by a bend. No one in the world would ever look either. <laughs> That's the thing, you know, nobody's looking. And, and, and you're like, you, all you have to do to see Bigfoot and, and their work is start to look. They, they live they, they live in these domes, you guys. They live inside the ground. I don't know why you find it so hard to believe. Let's we'll see if the structures are still at the top of the ramp. I can't film it perfectly, but I'll try to get it. There's usually an X at the top. actual footprints right there. Real Bigfoot footprints, I swear to God. It goes straight up the hill. You guys, I'm not kidding. You, when you see them, you know it instantly. I don't think I got them on camera. Really here, and you can cut through Leadville, and that's it's actually the fastest way, where you can go all the way through Vail, um, Glenwood Springs, take a left, and, and go to Vail that way. But it takes a lot longer. Independence Pass is so pretty, you guys. If you ever have the opportunity to drive that, um, you'll always have snow. It depends on the winter, but typically, even like in August, on Independence Pass, you'll see. Uh, 
those are Bigfoots in their scheme. <laughs> You'll see snow. That's kind of cool. 